I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Toyota bets big on hydrogen cars, smartphones lead a medical tech revolution, and a court shoots down a key part of the Patriot Act. When it comes to green cars, they don't get much greener than the Toyota Prius. But the automaker is taking what they think is the next big step by bringing a hydrogen car to the U.S. Called the Mirai, which means future in Japanese, the fuel cell-powered electric car will come ashore this fall in California to start, since that's the only place that has any hydrogen filling stations to speak of. Right now, there are eight hydrogen stations in the Golden State, but almost 50 more are planned, with Toyota helping to foot the bill for their construction. A Mirai can go about 300 miles on a tank full of nature's most basic and abundant element. Want one? A Mirai will cost about 57 grand before incentives, and only 3,000 are being made. You can reserve yours online pretty soon. We're all familiar with the ever-expanding capabilities of the modern smartphone, but one very cool tech trick is the capability of providing quick medical diagnostics in the field. For example, take a look at the CellScope, a smartphone add-on that connects via Bluetooth and can accurately detect and diagnose whether someone has blood parasites. In the past, this test took days to get a result. With the CellScope, it takes three minutes. A person working with the device in Africa says they are expanding their program and that smartphone-assisted medicine in the region could be a huge asset, with malaria and tuberculosis as their top concerns. We don't know if you caught John Oliver's interview with Edward Snowden, but if you didn't, you should. In the interview, they talk about Section 215 of the Patriot Act, which allows for widespread phone surveillance. Now, a federal appeals court is saying that Section 215 invades privacy, exceeds Congress's original intentions, and ultimately is illegal. Section 215 is due to expire next month, and the fight over it is heating up in the halls of Congress. What's your take? Should the Patriot Act be renewed as is or tweaked to let parts like Section 215 expire? Hit the link below for more details and leave us your thoughts. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll be back tomorrow.